Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of the tutorial, we're trying to see how to work with bag of terms or bag of words and then find the most common words using testacy, right? And Python. So let's see how to do that. So what is bag of terms in the first place? So bag of terms and then bag of words is just a model that is used to find the term frequency, namely the number of times a particular term or word appears in a test. And it's very useful when you're trying to find the frequency of words in a particular test and help us to do document classification. The advantage of this is that it's very useful when you're doing document classification, but it is not spa uh, spatial location that is dependent. That is not, it is not dependent on the space, on the location. It's just counting all the words and then counting the frequency that the words appears in, unlike n grams. So now let's see how to do that. So I'm going to use Python first, then we'll see how to use test data to do that. So I'm just going to go with from collection, import, counter. Right, you're using counter to do that. So import counter. That's the first thing we're using, and this is going to be the test we'll be using to run our stuff. So let's see how to use spacey first of all to do that, and then we we'll see how to use this test. Spacey, I mean spacey using spacey to clean and then filter them out. So it's going to be like this. So import spacey and then create another copy of this, which is going to be spacey dot load. Here. Then after that, I'm just going to create my particular stuff, my docs. So docs one. This docs one is going to be of an uh, NLP object that I'm creating. Then we are passing in my test. Perfect. So now let's see what we, we can do with it. So how do we find the number of words inside this particular stuff? So we can just go with this and call it as let's say all words. It's going to be this particular stuff. So we are going to remove all the punctuations. We will be moving all punctuations and then all stop words from it to make it quite easier. So perfect. So it's going to list all the words in this particular stuff. So to check with the length of this stuff we have. All the words without tokens, right? Without the stop words. So sorry for the noise. 22 perfect. So now, how do we find the frequency of words? So to find the frequency of words, then we can use the counter from Python. So let's call it as word frequency for our word frequency. And we're going to pass in our pass in our stuff. So counter, then our all the words that we have. Counter and then all the words. So it's going to be all our words. It's going to count them perfectly for us. And now, if I go for to find the most common words, it's going to be let's call it as common, uh, most common nouns, right? Common words is going to be our word frequency dot most common. And let's give it a step. So if I check this now, it is working perfectly. So if I run this that we had here, you can, you can see that we have all this stuff there, most common words. Perfect. So we have likes appears three times, books appears three times, new is two, week is two, James is one, read, and all of this stuff. So it's very informative, right? So now the frequency or the occurrence of all of these ways. And let's see how to do that with this Stacy. So I'm just going to import the Stacy. It's going to be import the Stacy. Test Stacy. Test Stacy. And we'll be using testacy to do that. So let's create our document and let's so docs two for testacy. Then I'm going to go with testacy test testacy right testacy dot doc for our document and then our test. So my test perfect. So now we it's going to count it, it's going to give us stuff. We're going to create a document that you can run. So how do we find our bag of things? It's going to be back. It's called just bag of terms. It's going to be something like this to bag of terms. It's going to be our particular document that we have dot two dot two bag. Right? If I go with two bag, it's going to give us the option of either using bag of terms or bag of words. It's going to all arrive at the same point, almost the same point. Okay, so what are some of the arguments we need? So the argument that we need to allow this to work. First of all, we need to be able to specify the kind of n-grams that we want to use to include entities to include n-grams. So we're going to go with n-grams. By default, the n-gram is unigram, trigram, bigram, and then trigram. 
right? If, and we can also specify the particular kind of option whether we want to use entities to name entities. And we want to set it as true. Then we can also check for the weight. So the weighting, so the weighting is going to be either of several forms. It can also it can be of count. The weight can be of count or it can be of frequency or it can be of by binary, right? So that's how the weighting weight is going to be the number of occurrence. So let's set it as count. And then the next thing that we're going to supply is going to be our whether it's supposed to give it as a string or not, right? So let's set a string as true. So perfect. Now we have our bag of terms. So if I go to this particular bag of terms that I have, so bag of terms, it's going to list it perfectly just like we had. So we have Lights, James, Weeks, all of these things in a similar format, which is almost the same thing, right? The same thing, but it is too much, it's plenty. So we have to be able to sort them out. So how do we do that? Our uh, sorted using the Python function sorted. Then we're going to supply our bag of terms dot items. Perfect. And then we're going to use a simple lambda function. So key is equal to our lambda function. Lambda, right? Function to do that. So let's lambda x is going to be our x is to one. The first, the second. And then we're going to reverse it. So reverse is equal to two. Perfect. And then that is all we're going to. So we just as we did for the most common words, and we had ten. We can also do the same thing for here and then specify the value of of the value that you want to use, which is going to be is up to ten, right? Oops, I made a mistake here. Items it's supposed to be items, not item. Perfect. So that is it. So it's just giving us almost the same results. So like is three here. Let's reduce this. So you see that this common ways. So like is three here. Book is three. New is new is two. Just like that. So that is how to do the arrive at the same point using the Stacy, which is very very interesting. So you can also do the same thing that we did here using bag of instead of bag of ways, bag of terms. You can also use the same thing for bag of terms and so do bag of ways. And so it's also going to work in the same function. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any question or contribution, you just put it in the comment section so that everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Also, for the bag of words, so we want if you want to find the number of tokens with space, you can also the number of nouns or verbs, you can also change it here. Right? So thank you and stay